I said that uh, if I couldn't make the crab shaft, you wouldn't see more of me, but uh, I'm not going to give up. In fact, uh, as designed, I made four crab shafts. I couldn't make them work, or I couldn't get them accurate enough. And uh, so I modified the design slightly. I'll show you what that means, and I'm going to have another go. Well, I've made, I've made uh, four crankshafts now, so now I've, uh, I'm going to have a go at a fifth, but it's going to be different. I'll, I'll show you the details. Okay, well, this is the sad history. This is what I've done so far. First, the interesting thing is this was the original design, which had no central bearing, but uh, it just had a thick uh, central disc with two crank pins. There's one there, but of course uh, you can't see it quite. It looks like a shaft, but because it's at 90 degrees to the other one. Anyway, that was the original design, but true to form, what I did, I said, okay, I'll put a central bearing in. And this was the first crankshaft, which I thought was going to be okay. And uh, I made two mistakes. One, I cut out these counterbalances, but then I just, I realized that, uh, goodness me, these eccentric discs are going to be enough counterbalance. That was the first mistake. Uh, the second mistake was that uh, my chuck, three-jaw chuck, had a three-thou run out. And uh, I didn't discover that until I realized that this was no good. Uh, or I, I realized that these ones aren't any good. And I, put, I thought this was okay. Well, the point is it, was, it, it wasn't because of the run out. So number one goes aside. Now, I can't remember which orders, but these were number two and number three, which uh, I tried, but they didn't. They, they were just not accurate enough, so they go off to one side. And this is the third one, which for a time I thought would go. This was the one that helped me realize that I had a 3 thou run out, which I've now corrected on the lathe and uh, I made this jig to test with these and it would clamp down and let's put it this way it nearly worked but it just wasn't good enough because there was a slight wobble and uh, I thought what the hell so all that work is scrap now this is what I'm going to do now and simply make two of the end ones very accurately. I'm going to harden the shafts and the pins just to make sure there's no bending and I'll be very careful about pressing them in and checking that they are truly uh, at 90 degrees to the shafts, i.e. that there's no swash plate, no wobble in them at all. The central part I'm going to make out of brass and the bores, which will be a thou undersized for the, for the one-eighth pins, will be all the way through, which will give me a nice long thing to get them so that I will uh, be able to press them in and I'm going to be pretty sure that by the time they've been pressed into the whole length, they're going to be pretty much at right angles. So, anyway, that's the idea, and uh, I guess the next video after this one that you're going to see is whether I did it okay. So, uh, here again, there's another call for wishing me luck, but uh, put it this way, um, you know, I learn a lot by my mistakes, and I think that's the whole history and, and by golly if you can learn by making mistakes then at least your mistakes have uh, something to offer you so anyway wish me luck see if I can do it and then perhaps we're going to get a bit further with the whole project thank you very much